So the plan is to use this upright and this upright and then put uh, a unistrap bracket there, unistrap bracket there, one there and one there. Uh, these will be the two slotted uprights that will fold out um, and I'm going to cut four lengths of 600mm which will be on the brackets which I'll show later on um, and the idea is that it, two halves will fold out and then create like a H shape um, frame and then I'm going to mount uh, some U cable clamps onto these just to create uh, the bar racks I'm going to mark up my unistrut lengths um, and then I'm going to just use a I don't know if it's a rip saw or a circular saw, a metal saw to just cut straight through them. Uh, this is one I've done earlier. It, it gives a nice clean cut. Uh, and then once I've got it all cut, I can then start looking to mount it all together and mount it on the wall. So now I've got my cut pieces. They're gonna be the four pieces that mount onto the wooden frame. Uh, these are gonna be the four bits that move outwards that are gonna have the uh, major uprights attached to. Um, I've got two wheels, so I'm, I'm completely trying this. I'm gonna try and put these bits on two wheels so that they'll roll out as opposed to drag out. Uh, I've got some SB500s, I'm gonna use them to connect all my 90 pieces. I've got some uh, hinges, some unistrut hinges, and then there are my four um, cable hooks that are gonna hook the barbells onto, but I've just noticed one's different, so I can always change that later on. So the first thing I'm doing is putting the SB500 on the bottom of the main trunking, uh, trunking, unistrut, and what I'm using is 10 mil zebs, and you twist the spring off, it just makes this bit a bit easier and then put the zeb in there, put the bracket on top, put your 10mm bolt and washer in, and then just tighten it up. Now that I've done the bottom, um, I'm now gonna do similar to the other end, but at a different angle, uh, 90 degrees at angle, so that it, when it's up here, let me just, so when it's up here, um, so that's going up currently, and then we're gonna have one coming this way, so it needs to attach like that. So to mount these wheels onto the bottom of here, they've got a nice flat plate here. So I'm going to drill four 6mm holes, line that up with the bottom, mark it up, and then drill this, and then just use 6mm nuts and bolts to attach it. So with the four bolts, uh, this is what I was going for. So we've got the four there, which are on the SB500, and then just attach with nuts on the other sides of the wheel. It's very sturdy. So we'll see what it looks like when I do the other one and then we'll mount it up on the frame. One of the best things when doing this sort of thing is to have an assistant and even better if it's a Frenchie. Now um, drill two holes in each of the wall brackets because they're not load bearing. Uh, you don't need to worry about where they are or how big the holes are for the screws because they're literally just going to be holding the hinge in place because the weight's going to be on the two floor standing ones. Put it all together, um, bolted it all up, and yeah, it's come out nice. The idea is you can roll that away, and that one, and it's all flat pack then. And then when you want to use it, you roll it out. You've got the two fixed bars on the inside at fixed heights, and then I made these, which can rotate, jiggle a little bit and they pull out and you can put them at any height you want just put it in and turn it and then it's and done one of them for each side but yeah that's it finished